Digital tools are the next level. It unlocks a whole new set of opportunities with more insight and more real-time insight than ever before. The next phase of this, and we're starting to see this in some of the lighthouse companies already, is to operate with these capabilities, not just to improve the performance of an individual site or an individual product supply chain, but to impact the performance of an entire enterprise globally, and even more exciting, of an entire ecosystem. The World Economic Forum have set up a network called the Global Lighthouse Network, which has proven to be a really exciting collaboration across companies who are all seeking to find the answers, find the recipe for applying fourth industrial revolution technologies into their supply chains and manufacturing in a way that delivers a very clear return on investment. We're starting to see examples of really exciting technology exchange between suppliers and customers um, or between different parts of an ecosystem so that there is much faster understanding of how demand conditions are changing and responsiveness to that across the total supply chain, but similarly much more resilience in the supply chain by seeing how the entire supply chain is working so that you actually can see uh, if there's an issue somewhere, if there needs to be a change, that the whole supply chain can change. I think that kind of ecosystem optimization is the next wave and it will be game changing for many industries. The real breakthrough in what we're seeing from the fourth industrial revolution technologies is that they allow industrial leaders to solve for cost at the same time as improving their carbon footprint, at the same time as solving for flexibility and therefore supply chain resilience and supply chain diversification. Supply chain has become a front and center topic for every CEO, frankly, not just industrial CEOs. Companies have to come together across industries, in geographies, with public sector partners. The investments that they are making and the learnings that they have about how to bring these capabilities to life together, changes in the way that the workforce is operating, changes in the way managers are leading cross-functionally, cross-supply chain, and the way that they are supporting with technology and data is reinforcing and are the key conditions for scaling more broadly. And that is creating more economic inclusion, um, a better, brighter future, and really changing even how we think about what a manufacturing job is.